The world's greatest designers have brought us some amazingly sleek stuff that's easy to take for granted, but not all designers are so gifted. In fact, a lot of them are downright awful. From horrifying creations to unbelievable scam attempts, let's check out the works of some of our planet's very worst designers. Some of the most infuriating design choices of the modern world come in the form of unnecessary packaging. And it doesn't get much worse than this. Clearly, no one informed this designer that bananas come ingeniously pre-packaged with their own protective layer. These shrink-wrapped apples, meanwhile, raise more questions than answers. Maybe the supermarket's investors are plastic barons? Or maybe the fruit company feels like pesticides just don't cut it anymore. How about this abomination? Jeez, if only there were some way to seal and transport orange slices without plastic. Hmm. If the plastic wrapping on your fruit wasn't enough to keep allergens at bay, you'd better think twice before buying allergy relief medicine. This single Claritin tablet is like a Russian doll. It comes in a case, inside a pouch, inside a plastic paneled cardboard box. That allergy relief better be worth it. Worse yet is this package ordered from Sephora Cosmetics. And that sizable box is a big bundle of packaging paper and bubble wrap, all for the protection of this single tiny 0.05 ounce makeup container. No amount of makeup could conceal the ridiculous waste of resources on show here. This McDonald's menu, shared by Gus Johnson on Twitter, is an even worse design. Every minute or so, all the menu screens switch to an advert, meaning you have to sit through an advertisement for the privilege of giving McDonald's your money. Designed by Satan himself, I can only assume. Worse still are the rage-inducing fake adverts for games you may have come across on social media platforms. Usually, an ad like this will pop up, showing you an intriguing, well-produced, satisfying game that's only a tap away to download. Seems fair enough. Only if you follow the link to your phone's app store, the game turns out to be nothing like what's advertised and is instead just a generic bejeweled clone or town builder. More often than not, the advertisements are just animations carefully designed to lure you in, usually barely related to the real game, if at all. It's shocking that so many app developers are able to get away with this tactic, and it's about time somebody called them out. So if you've encountered these misleading ads, feel free to rant about it in the comments below. Being misled is annoying, sure, but being sneakily conned by a hotel you're paying to stay at is arguably worse. That's exactly what happened to Redditor Totally a Dragon. Their hotel bedroom's computerized minibar fridge would automatically charge the occupant's account not only when an item was taken, but even if it was just slightly moved. Any detected movement counted as a purchase, even accidental. So with this kind of con at play, I certainly hope there were no earthquakes during their stay. To make matters worse, if Totally a Dragon wanted to eliminate the risk of an unfair charge, they'd have to pay a 15 euro removal fee. After all that nonsense, they probably needed a strong drink from the minibar anyway. When you go to unsubscribe from a service you don't like, the last thing you need is to be guilt tripped about it. But a lot of companies use this tactic to try to manipulate you into staying like this Linux news site that forces you to kill the crying Linux penguin to unsubscribe, or this one that straight up calls you a fool. It's a bold move, I'll say that much, but it's hardly the best way to address customers. An even more devious example can be found in this spam text for a comedy event. It claims to unsubscribe, you need only reply, stop. What's not so clear though, is that the O in stop is actually a zero digit. The likelihood of the average person spotting that and successfully unsubbing is extremely slim, and that's exactly what they're counting on. The sneakiest attempt at stopping you from unsubscribing comes from the website for Keeps Hair Loss Treatment. Their subscription modification page is specifically programmed so that whenever you hover your mouse over the unsubscribe button, it moves the screen before you can click. Luckily, hitting tab a few times will function as a workaround, but it's still incredibly sneaky to intentionally program something like this. Making unsubscribing difficult is one thing, but this Ferrari license agreement places the difficulty on signing up. Breaking the folder seal means agreeing to the terms, which you can't actually read without breaking the seal. And because the documents are technically available in some obscure corner of Ferrari's website, this is technically legal the worst kind of legal. It doesn't get much more shameless than preying on high school grads anxiously waiting to find out whether they got accepted into their chosen college. But that didn't stop Providence College sending out an email with a highly misleading subject line, re, your college acceptance. In reality, the email was little more than an advertisement for one of their website's articles. 
The senders knew full well that students would see the subject and open it right away, only to be disappointed. As if the student debt they'd soon be racking up wasn't bad enough. It's not just soon-to-be college students being swindled, though. This deceptive sticker book targets younger kids, claiming to house 1,001 Disney princess-themed stickers. Opening it up, however, reveals the irritating truth. Of those 1,001 stickers, 768 of them are these tiny colored squares. Come on, Disney. I'm sure kids would be happy with 233 Disney stickers. Why you gotta feed them lies? Sometimes bad design strays pretty confidently into fraud territory, as is the case with so-called pest repeller listed on Amazon India. It claimed to deter insects and rodents using ultrasonic waves, but when reviewers opened it up, it was another story entirely. They soon realized the circuit board inside only functioned to light up the LEDs on the front of the device. There was no sound emitter of any kind, meaning the whole thing was little more than an overpriced Christmas tree decoration. If you're scamming people who already have an infestation problem, you should probably ask yourself who the real rodent is. Keeping on theme of fraudulent design, it doesn't get much worse than this. This type of device is a card skimmer and can sometimes be found placed over the card slots of ATMs. It steals your card info, allowing whoever put it there full access to your money. To avoid the trap, give the card slot a good hard shake before you try to take out cash. If it comes loose, call the 5-0 you could save more bank accounts than just your own. Not all bad designs are evil though, some are just hilariously stupid. Like this World War II memorial plaque, for example. Either the designer didn't know their Roman numerals or we all missed out on a lot in history class. My favorite World War was number five, but I hear they went downhill after number nine. If you thought there was a limit to how shameless app developers can be, think again. Several developers keen for users to play their apps regularly have begun adding fake notification symbols into their app icons. That's pretty low, but I'll bet it works the first few times. Other apps have taken to straight up lying to their users in the form of phony notifications like this one. Sorry, Hopper, but false alarm is not a valid reason to falsely excite your customers with better deals than you'll ever offer them for real. Devious design goes beyond apps though, and sometimes the phone itself can be one big scam. Some cheap knockoff smartphones claim to feature fingerprint scanners, which in reality are purely cosmetic. Removing the casing reveals there's really nothing underneath in the way of functional hardware. I guess you get what you pay for. If your phone comes with a real fingerprint scanner, you'd better avoid apps like this one at all cost. Here's why. The developer slipped under Apple's quality assurance radar by initially uploading a reasonably functional diet tracker app to the App Store but after amassing some users, they modified the app to include fingerprint recognition, claiming it'd be used to personalize user data. But the moment the user scanned their fingerprint, this happened. That's right, the app attempted to charge almost $100 to the user's account. Luckily, this time the account wasn't fully linked to the user's bank card, but it very easily could have been. Thankfully, the app has now been removed from the store, but there are countless others out there waiting to defraud you using your own fingerprint approval. If after all that, you're feeling like throwing your phone down the toilet in frustration, you'd better avoid this bathroom at Toronto Pearson Airport. Depending on which set of signs you go by, your entrance could be met with a lot of screaming. If you made your way into the toilet successfully, you might come across something that looks like this. While it looks like someone's dog has mixed up toilet time and dinner time, it's actually supposed to be an advert for funnel cakes, which are being sold at a market. But with that crappy promo hanging above, I'd be surprised if they sold any at all. On the topic of uncomfortable designs, they don't get much more hellish than this hideous light switch cover. Fashioned out of polymer clay, acrylic paints, and gloss varnishes by Morgan's Mutations, these eldritch abominations will ensure nightmares whenever you turn out the lights. That is, if you can bear to touch the switch at all. What with those hyper-realistic teeth, eyes, and tongues. As if the dentist wasn't already unpleasant enough, this one decided to hang a mascot up for the kids only with hyper-realistic teeth, a wrinkled face, and blood-red mouth. It's not a comfort so much as a warning. Brush your teeth, kids, or I'll come take them for my personal collection. If you're feeling a little unnerved after that last one, why not calm down with a nice, innocent unicorn pen? Unfortunately, your calmness wouldn't last long if you purchased this pen, because despite costing $5, the amount of ink inside is barely enough to write a sentence. Food packaging can feature some of the sneakiest design tricks of all. 
Take this tasty looking pate, for example, which seems to be a perfectly sized portion for your next dinner party, until you remove the cardboard sleeve and see what it was hiding. Split into two smaller packets, the real thing is almost a third smaller than it initially seems. This pizza is even worse, concealing an oversized crust behind the packaging in an attempt to cut cost. This one's worse still, with a measly three pieces of pepperoni. Although to be fair, you couldn't call it false advertising. What you see is literally what you get. Some terrible designs are really just a matter of poorly planned out construction, like this excessively bumpy bicycle lane in Hungary. Despite how it may look, the Hungarian government doesn't have a vendetta against cyclists. The bumps are actually ramps leading down to the driveways of houses on the side of the road. Still, you'd better make sure you're not carrying any fizzy soda if you ever take a ride down this path. You could end up in a very sticky situation. But when it comes to terrible construction design choices, it's hard to beat hiding a toilet behind a cubicle wall of glass. The frosted effect really does nothing to keep you out of sight during your most vulnerable moments. And it looks like the man in this photo has spotted us. So let's get out of here and return to the land of clean, elegant design. Ah, <sighs> that's better. <gasps> Have you encountered any unbelievably awful design choices of your own? I'd love to hear about them at stories at bmaze.com. If yours is horrendous enough, I may feature it in a video. Thanks for watching.